Hello everyone, welcome back to Indivisible. Last time, we were stupid. I did many stupid things, I forgot abilities that I had, and this time, I'm going to try to make up for that stupidity. Hopefully. See, I remembered. Alright, so now we should be able to make it further up the uh, Mount Sumera. And hopefully, we'll make it to the destination that we need. Oh, I forgot to do the down thing. Yeah, I like how last time, in the last episode, I mentioned uh, how much I liked that the game was varying up uh, the different skills and such, and then proceeded to forget about one of said skills. So, may maybe it got varied up too much. Or maybe my just mind, or maybe my mind is just a stupid husk of what it used to be. Yeah, potentially. I'm only getting dumber as time goes on. I'm not in school anymore. I, very, I really miss college. So, makes sense that I'm getting dumber. And I'm not exactly getting better at games either. Wait, what are we supposed to do here? Yeah, because I can't... Spike those. Oh. Well. So wait, why, why can't I just, um, do the flower thing on the, uh, spikes on the ground? Why does it only work on things on the ceiling? And, um, things on the walls? It's a weird limitation to have for that ability. Looks like there was something up there, but there's clearly not. Boom. Alright, now I just gotta bounce on these spikes. All right, now I gotta jump, 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 and bounce. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm glad I didn't somehow get past that uh, area I was trying to get past last time without remembering this ability, because this zone would have been very hard without it. Oh, no way. Are you serious? Come on. I, like, ran into the spikes. Just face first. Ajna just slams her face into those spikes. There we go. Let's just dash over them to be safe. Safety first. Yeah, that was the other thing we did last time. We gave a uh, a bit more time, and it really didn't work out, in all honesty. Huh. What am I supposed to do here? Hmm. Oh, okay. I, th I think I probably know. Whoop. That's the wrong button. It's up and Y. Yeah, there we go. That's what we were supposed to do. Now that I think about it, I wonder if I was supposed to do that to that grate. Like, maybe that let me through that? I was thinking it was an ability where we kind of turned to liquid or became, uh... Like... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh... We lost our physical form, kinda. So we could just go through there. I'm not exactly sure what the term I'm looking for is. Insubstantial? No, that's definitely not it. I don't know. The brain is, uh, not doing brain things today. Whoop. Alright, so we're gonna want to do that and jump. Uh, I got it. Whew. Thought I was gonna miss that for a second. The platforming in this game is starting to remind me of, uh, the platforming in, uh, Bloodstained. Whoop. Which, if, uh, you're watching the channel now, and you ever want something else to watch, Bloodstained was a very good playthrough that's pretty similar to this game. Whoops. Can't recommend that game enough. It doesn't have the, uh, RPG combat, but it had, uh, some kind of like, not really sure what to call the combat. I mean, it's Castlevania inspired, of course, but eh, enough about that. We're playing Indivisible right now. We don't need to talk about Bloodstained. This is a very, very long hallway, I must say. With much platforming, we, uh, turns out Mount Sumeru is actually just... Oh, I realized I was supposed to stab my spear into that now. Turns out Mount Sumeru is actually just a level put together by Bowser. Ow. And I died. Death. 
No, I'm gonna need you to come back. Can you do that for me? I don't think I can make that. Oh wait, yeah, I can. My arrow just go through the wall? I mean, I'm not going to complain. As long as it work out, uh, works out for me, I don't really care if, uh... Wow, I made the same mistake again. I, uh, get too close to the spikes when trying to stick my spear into them. Oh. No, I'm just being stupid again. Yeah, I'm supposed to do that. There we go. Now it's safe to stab my spear into. Apparently it's just not a very good, um, day for me and platforming an indivisible. Because this is the same day that I recorded the last episode. Just to put things into context. So I'm still in the same state of mind as I was then, but I'm slightly more enlightened to my stupidity this time. Uh, whoops. Okay, I think I was supposed to grab my, uh, bow then, so that I could shoot a platform over there. There we go. Oh, wait. No. I did everything out of order. There's a very specific order that you have to do with a lot of these puzzles I'm finding. And if you mess it up, it's just kind of like, well, uh, have fun. You messed up. Alright, so now we want to switch to this. Jump up there. And now we go across. There we go. Not too difficult. Just take some trial and error. What is happening here? I mean, I... Whoop. That was incorrect. Didn't get over quite far enough. I don't know what that weird little nub that was sticking out was. Huh. This is going on for longer than I could have imagined. This might be the longest platforming segment we've had in the game thus far. But at least we're getting a lot of uh, ring cells for it, I guess. I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to jump. Hmm. I guess I probably shoot those spikes with flowers there? And get up there that way? It's nice that this, uh, the camera actually pulls back in this room, so I can't examine the problem before I get up there and start having to solve it. Yeah, that appears to be the issue. So, boom, boom. Okay, eh, get me out of here. There we go. Oh, jeez, I slid. I did some incorrect inputs, so Ajna just decided to commit seppuku by fucking sliding into the spikes. No, Ajna. Don't do that. That's bad for your health. Also, hit the spikes. There we go. Huh. I wonder if I could... No, let's, let's not try it. Let's not do anything fancy. Let's just do what we know. Uh... That is not what I wanted you to do. <laughs> I meant to do the axe thing. Maybe maybe I uh, thought I had it still charged up, but I didn't. Jump, 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 jump. No, don't break on me. Oh, wait. I forgot to... I once again forgot to. Damn it. There's so much to keep track of. It's like, you gotta, you gotta do this to get across these spikes, and then you gotta get up here, you gotta wall jump. But these things are breaking, so you're on a time limit, but you gotta get to this platform, but it's also on a time limit. So then you gotta shoot that, and actually make it connect, and then you gotta jump up here, do this. I wonder... Yeah, that's what I was curious about. Could I do that? No! Damn it. I was up there, too. But I got greedy and I wanted the ring cell as well. But at least we know this method actually works. Kinda. No. Damn it. I tapped the, uh, like, little platforms and they start breaking. Man, could they not have given me, like, one solid platform in this platforming area? Ow. No, damn it. 
Yeah, platforming's getting rougher. And I'm just... I don't know. I'm not used to platforming where things can kill me very often. Most of the platforming just hurts you. And they're usually not... The, uh, the segments of platforming usually aren't this long either. So it's something to get used to for sure. There we go. That's mostly what I wanted. So now that we have that, we should be able to do the rest of this with relative... Damn it. My flowers would expire. That was hasty of me to try and jump up there without refreshing them anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the platforming section sections of these games. Like, I like that they're so varied in their uh, execution. But at the same time, I do find myself uh, wanting combat more. Damn it. Plus, like... I think my main... If I had a complaint about the platforming in this game, my main one would probably be the fact that all of these things that Ajna can do, and she cannot grab ledges. Like, it, it feels like a game where you would have a ledge grab, but you just don't. So, you tackle problems imagining that you would have a ledge grab, but then you end up not having one. Also, I just realized I have to get that ring cell again. Huh. Can the checkpoints just keep ring cells, man? Alright, so... Let's just do that instead. There we go. So that's how we're supposed to get up here, but I have to get the ring cell back. But now that we have a more consistent method, it'll probably be easier to do this now. Alright. I'm glad the flowers take a really long time uh, before they disappear. That does my heart. Uh, that does good things to my heart. Makes me feel much better. Alright. Into the ceiling with you, Mr. Spear. And we're gonna get over here, and we are not going to mess this up. Hopefully. Yes. Whew. That was a gauntlet. Can I have a boss fight now? I'm actually good at those. <laughs> Please? Alright. Across the gap. We are not having our boss fight yet. Huh. What was I supposed to do there? Gotta re-examine that problem. But yeah, I'm still having a, a pretty good time with the game. Ah, oh, she stuck it into the bottom of it instead of grabbing the side. Now that I think about it, I might have already used my uh, axe hang. It's rough that she can only do it once. But I guess if uh, you could just spam the axe hang a lot, it would kind of break the game. Yeah. Okay, I'm going about that problem the wrong way. But once again, there's not really an opportunity for a break, I guess. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't as bad as it seemed. Just required a bit more precision than... Uh, I was showcasing. Alright, jump, 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 jump. Oh, if I would have hit those blue spikes, I would have been very, very sad camper. And yeah, you bet we're saving after every single one of those uh, platforming sections. Okay, don't want to do that. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to catch that or not. Just barely got it. Boom. I heard another ring cell up there, but I definitely can't get that. We need the smash up attack. Which for a second, if you noticed uh, there, I tried to do it with the, my spear, thinking... I wonder if I've been wrong this entire time, and that's just how you do this. Whew. Alright, we're good. Wait a minute. I see you. You're nothing, never mind. <laughs> I heard the ring cell sound from over there, so I'm like, wait, may maybe we can get across from over there? No. Wow, this just keeps going. Varying up the gameplay, at least. Run, Ajna. Okay. 
There we go. This feels so strange. I spent a thousand years on this ledge once, and yet the whole place feels completely foreign to me. Spent a thousand years on this ledge once. Huh. Am I forgetting why that's a thing? I mean, I know she's a Deva, but the Deva explanation was so long ago, and Sarani's explanation in general, that I'm having difficulty remembering why maybe she would... One thousand years? I haven't been here since we Deva were cast out of Sumeru. Kala has changed it in only 16 years. Oh, okay. When we defeat Kala, you'll be able to come back and live here if you want. I'm not sure there's a place for me here anymore. It just doesn't feel right. Don't worry, Torani. We'll make it right. Yeah. I'm actually kind of had to ha <laughs> happy to have a um character building cutscene there to kind of break up the platforming. I wish they had a bit more of that, actually. I was about to say, that looks like something I can break. Oh, cool. That's where that ring cell was hiding. Well, I'm certainly not going down there. I mean... Well, that leads somewhere, it looks like, but when I have to go through all that platforming again, no thank you. I'm just gonna go back up here, and we're gonna be on our merry way. I do like this flower ability a lot. It's uh, fairly unique as far as I've seen in Metroidvania platformers. I've never really seen something that does anything like this. Oh no. Well, just gonna have to redo this again. Because I do believe I wasted my... Uh... Ow. Okay, yep. Totally messed that up again. What I was going to say was I wasted my axe hang that first time. Hopefully this time I don't do that. There we go. That's all we had to do. A lot of uh, spiky death balls in this area. Must say. Okay, this is a simple Mario wall jump situation. Oh no. Okay, I'm still alive though. Uh, no. There there wasn't any saving that. I I tried to to fix it halfway through my mistakes, but it just wasn't happening. Everything was already messed up. All right. Boom, there we go. That's what all I needed to do the first time. Cool. So now what are we up to? This this place feels like it goes on forever. I mean, they definitely nailed the feeling of climbing an entire mountain pretty hard. They got that right. Although, significantly less trees than I would like. And snow. I really like snow. This is kind of just... giant minefield... temple. Okay. I was curious where those were gonna land because I didn't have anywhere to land and it was spooky. I missed that, really. Ah, she didn't get a running start at all. Oh wait, I have to go down here and hit this again. That's right. There we go. To summon all of these again. Jeez. Wait. Where is this? Oh, I'm all the way back here. Wow, why wouldn't it give me a save point over here? Some of these ring cells are in pretty jerkish locations, I must say. Alright, so do this, do this. Okay, there we go. That's all I needed to do. Whew. Yeah, this definitely... We're definitely leading up to a uh, boss fight of some sort because it's... It's just handing us way too many uh, ring cells. Not on a silver platter, mind you, but we're getting a lot of them. Things are getting purple. Does that mean anything uh, of importance? Oh wait, what am I doing? No, there's spikes on the ground, you dummy. 
All right. Yeah, it feels like this game has more abilities than um, most uh, Metroidvanias that I've played. Like, I think of like Bloodstained and Hollow Knight, and they usually keep it simple with a couple of uh, world traversing uh, abilities that you unlock. Whereas this one has like, what, like 10? Ow. Excuse me? Just got grabbed by a giant disembodied hand. Well, hello. If it isn't my missing eye. I'll just pop you right back in, shall I? Oh, where the eye? I'm not your missing anything. I'm Ashna, daughter of Inder, chief of Ashwat village, and you have no control over me, Kala. Inder. I vaguely recall someone by that name. He sealed you once, and now I'll finish what he started. We shall see about that, little eye. This world is imperfect, and we must remake it. Ah, it's one of those villains, the destroy the world so we can remake it thing. I think they've mentioned that before, though. Of course, I can do it without you. But it will be oh so much quicker if you would just come back home. You see, you're under my power. One way or another. No, I'm gonna defeat you, and things are gonna go back to how they were. How they were? Do you think I haven't seen what you've done? Unleash an ocean of slime, bruised the ego of a loving queen and estranged her from her people, and left an entire city to writhe in pain? I was helping people. Tell yourself that if you must. You can't remake the world in your own image, little eye. Only I may do that. I'm not like you! But do they not call me the bringer of destruction? And you are a part of me. So, what have you done? And what does that make you? Accept it, little eye. You are a violent force. You are raw power. You are king. Yeah, she is very rash, and she has a temper, and hopefully we can work on that. I'm not like you. Charge it up. Ooh. Oh. Excuse me? Whoa. Ajna went beyond Super Saiyan. And and Dar, uh, Jan, Liliani, uh, Lilani, and uh, Lanshi are just hanging out on a floating block? Yes, this is your true nature. She looks like an Ashura, like a demon of wrath from Buddhism, basically. Ajna, don't give in to your anger. Ajna, by doing this, you're playing into her hands. My dear sweet eye, come back to me. Ajna, you're being just as destructive as she is. Don't succumb to it. Okay, uh, what are we, what are we supposed to be doing here? Uh, huh. Okay, there we go, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm like, wait, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be beating up Ajna, right? It's weird that we're kind of just floating here. Alright, just pet the dog. I guess. Alright, uh... Oh, Launchy's still alive! Bark at her, Launchy, do it! Bork- Oh no, I couldn't bork bork anymore. Oh, okay. So that that is something we're actually supposed to win. 
It's nice that it fast forwards to this cutscene. So, I think what I was supposed to do there is build up 5 meters by beating up Ajna. Which is easier said than done. Yeah, we know. Oh, cool. I can hit this one right here. I didn't realize I could change my targets. So that's good to know. Whoop, Dar just killed himself. I wonder if anyone's ever seen somebody actually die to that. Okay, so I need to LB when she uses that attack for sure. Uh, yeah, just keep attacking. We gotta build that meter. Let's just pet the dog. That'll help raise our meter. Launchy's probably actually pretty good to have in this fight, since... I have to assume that's what you have to do, is just build your five meters, and... Since, uh, I assume that probably snaps her out of it? Work, 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 work. Go to sleep. We need you to charge more meter. Oh wait, I shouldn't be doing that because it actually drains my meter. I forgot. Come on. Ow. Okay, everybody's really low health now. Pet the dog. Okay, can we do it now? Yeah, there we go. Something's coming. Brace yourselves, everyone. Wow, everyone is hurt except for Launchy, because Launchy's a tank. Well, this is it. Yeah, my thoughts exactly rest me. But sadly, we have more game to go. Well, not sadly. Fortunately, we have more game to go, so... Oh, wait. Am I gonna... Wait, what? I have to beat that all in one go? Hmm. I suppose I could have... Um... I could have generated meter faster if I wasn't wasting it by using, uh... Leilani's, uh... Charge up on her chainsaw. So, let's not do that this time. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, put the dog to sleep. And just keep petting the dog. To generate that itty. Alright. There we go. See, we're already at two bars this time, basically. Go back to sleep. Alright, I was trying to hammer the uh, button there so that I could get that. But everybody pet. Give Launchy your power. Go back to sleep. There we go. Everybody pet him. There we go. Okay, so that's one head down. Something's coming. And I think we're much healthier this time. So we should be able to do it. Well, this is it. Alright, back to sleep, Launchy. I'm petting the dog while she does the chainsaw stuff. Got to get as much in as we possibly can. Launchy, go back to sleep. Pet. All right, do the chainsaw again. 
There we go. Ow. Ooh. Okay, no, we're still healthy. And do that again. And she missed. Oh well. Pet the dog. So yeah, Launchy's pretty good in this particular instance, just because you can kind of generate itty with him like that, I suppose. It doesn't seem like it generates a massive amount, but it does help. That's for sure. Just keep petting. Okay, there's another one. Please tell me that's it. It is not it. Okay, now we're super, super not healthy. Is this gonna be another loss? Am I not understanding something here? I'm honestly curious. Maybe this is a test of my ability to do combos? Potentially. Or there's just something on the screen that I'm not noticing. Which, it could be either one of those to be fair. If I lose again, the only other thing I really know to do is to put characters in that have a bigger health bar. So that they can last longer. Because the characters I have in currently are pretty weak. As far as uh, characters go. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try that, I suppose? It seems like Dar is in no matter what. But maybe if we switch out Leilani with... How about... Tungar? And... I mean, Tarani could heal us, but I'm not really sure how useful that is. I'm also not sure how it would work, and... How about Kadira instead of Yan? And Launchy, let's go ahead and take you out as well, because maybe just attacking more will generate uh, more uh, itty. I think Jinzing and Honey was, were pretty good at doing that. I don't, I don't know how well they're going to be able to hit the face though. But at the very least, we could heal with Jinzing and Honey, which seems like it's pretty important right now. Ashina, no! This might be one of the few times I've had in a bit where I actually need a healer in the party. It's been quite a bit since we've needed one of those. Alright. Yeah, this is my true nature. Okay. Alright. And Yeah, everybody seems to get their uh, stuff pretty quickly as well. And Dara can build up some stones. And then, yeah, do your thing, Tungar. Yeah, everybody gets their meter pretty much immediately. And Jinzing seems to be very good as, as long as they hit for generating Itty. Yeah, this may have just been a problem with the characters that I chose to go into this fight with. Because this is working out much better this time. Yeah, Jinzing generates a lot of itty. That was a good pick. Oh no, something's. Yeah, we, we've we've seen this I think uh, twice now. Hmm. Yeah, we know we're gonna die, Razmi. I like to think it's uh, the party configuration that I went with, but it may have just been me not understanding really what's going on with this fight. But, whatever we're doing now seems to be working. Let's just do the fast attacks with you. Ow. Okay, so heal us up. There we go. Now stir some more. To get that full potion going. There we go. It's been a bit since we've used you, Jinzing. I actually kind of like you. But when, like, the big deal with your character is useless to me... There hasn't really been much reason to keep you around. I just never need healing. Yeah, stir that pestle and mortar. It's been a bit since I've gotten to do that. 
I wonder if Jinxing and Honey are actually one of the highest itty generating characters in the game. This is definitely a different boss fight. I will give the game that. And I don't even, uh, like, dislike it or anything. I was just a bit confused at the start. But now that I'm kind of understanding what's going on, it's actually a pretty neat idea that you have to basically quell the anger of your other character because they're about to be absorbed. All right, heal us up, Jinzing. There we go. Yeah, that was a good call. I'm sure Tarani may have worked as well, but I'm not super sure how her puddles would have went. Because that's how she does her healing. And I'm not sure how those would have worked on this particular platform. Yeah, this squad is doing some work though. Especially Jinzing and Honey. That's the third one. you almost hit Lan. You have to stop. She won't stop. She barely even knows we're here. But I can stop her. Ajna, I'm sorry. For this and for everything else. Earth, give me strength. Whoa. Whoa, did Dar just get vaporized? No way. I really didn't expect anybody to actually die. Wh where am I? What happened? Am I dead? And Dar, did I kill him? It certainly seems that way. I wish I could remember. Well, now everybody's going to start calling you a murderer like you called Dar one, I suppose. Why can't I get out of here? This place feels endless. Am I in Naraka? I don't quite recall what that is. Is, is that hell? Who's there? Is that... Is that you, Dar? Whoa. Dar, you're scaring me. Someone, get me out of here! Razmi! Torani! Dad! Help me! Somebody! Hmm. Things definitely took a dark, dark turn. It's Kanu. And it's totally defenseless. Dar tried to tell me. The queen just wanted to protect her people from Kala. And I ruined her one chance to do that. Yeah, I'm glad you're finally seeing it now. I never even asked what she was trying to do. I just saw a barrier and wanted to destroy it. Yep, you're hot-headed. In the Iron Kingdom. Mary was wrong. I still believe that. She was exploiting her people. But I left them even worse off. Now the city is covered with slime. I didn't even think about what would happen after. Yeah, you basically went there, solved the problem, but then left the city in shambles instead of helping the residents. Tai Krung is still a city of sick people. Tarani couldn't have saved them all, but I could have helped her. I just wanted her with me. I was so selfish. 
Yay, we're finally getting that awakening that I talked about. Shame people had to die for you to come to this realization. What is that? Is that Kala? Is that... me? Yes. Uh, I can't find this thing! It's too big! Just poke it in the eyeball. Gotta use underhanded tactics if you want to beat something like that. This isn't me! It can't be! No. I can't get this courage now. I can't back down. That's right. I can't beat you. Because... You are me, aren't you? <laughs> You're angry because I'm angry. You're afraid because I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Whoa. I've made mistakes. But there are people who are counting on me. People who care about me. And... I have to care about myself. All of myself. I'm not perfect, but I can do better. I will do better. I will fix this. Thank you. Is this our Super Saiyan 3? That is a cool transformation. I like that a lot. Uh... Okay, I thought the game froze. I was very terrified. Whoa, is that like the first time Rhodey's spoken in this entire game? Oh, you're awake. I'll get everyone. Why is everything more monotone now? Rosmi! You're alive! And... I'm alive! Looks that way. Uh, were you watching over me? No, I was watching you sleep. You sleep with your mouth open. Guess how many bugs I put in there? Fifty. Froze me? Nah, it wasn't that many. You needed your protein. Who knows how long you've been out? Well, come on in, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad to see that you're all okay. And I know I have a lot of explaining to do. I mean, that's not everyone. Are these the characters that decided to actually stay with me? Because if so, I'm pretty surprised Zabay is here. Rest for now. We'll talk later. Actually, now that I think about it, it probably doesn't show any of the optional characters. But Lanshi should be here. Tarani should be here. Kadira should be here. Those aren't optional characters. Oh, but not everyone's here, are they? Baudsai, Kadira, Torani, Nuna, and... Dar. W well Torani went back to Tai Krong City to try to help everyone. I thought she might. And Nuna went to visit her sisters in Kanu. Good, I'm glad. Kadira went back to the Iron Kingdom. To find her lips. Hey, that's rude, Razmi. Kadira's awesome. Right. She has no time to waste looking for a brother. Lips, I said. Bautzai is back at the port. Probably tearing that poor bar apart. No, oh, <laughs> that sounds like Bautzai. But, Jinseng, why are you still here? You could have gone back to your parents. I had to make sure you were all right. I used those resurrection lilies we collected before. Oh, that was nice. Oh, thank you. But how long was I asleep? Ten months. It's been almost a week. We were so worried. Ah, uh, not quite as long as I expected. Hmm, that's even longer than last time. And Rosmi was watching over you constantly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, watching. 
<laughs> Thanks, Rasni. She was just feeding me protein. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, don't thank me. Just eat more bugs. How are you feeling now? I don't know. It's strange to say, but I guess I feel stronger. Yeah, it seems like she has like she had like kind of an awakening, I guess, or basically what was supposed to happen before she went through the first time. While I was dreaming, I guess I realized that giant thing I became. That's a part of me. I had to accept it. I knew you had it in you. But I also had to confront a lot of things. I made terrible mistakes. In Taikrung, in Kanu, and the Iron Kingdom, and especially on Sumeru. I don't know how to even begin to fix this. One step at a time is what I say. You did your best, Ashna. No, it's okay. You don't have to try to make me feel better. Yeah, I was about to say, she really didn't do her best. There were people constantly giving her advice on how to handle the situation, and she chose to ignore them, but I'm glad that she's starting to realize that now and growing stronger from it. You all trusted me, but I didn't trust all of you when you told me what I was doing was wrong. And now? Dar paid the price for that, right? We believe so, and Lon is gone as well. Yeah, I imagined you would be a bit more pissed off about this, Zabe. Lon is gone? No. I'm so sorry. That was your home. But we understand. You didn't know what you were doing. The monks predicted this. They were able to get out in time, and no lives were lost. Well, that's good, at least. Except Dar. <laughs> Thank you, Razmi. Yeah. Dar. We talked about it while you were asleep, and none of us blame you. We know you couldn't help it. Kala had you under her control. But still, it's terrible. I didn't want him to die like that. He was changing. Yeah, he really was. He came to his change even earlier than you did. He died a warrior. It's not a good thing. He still died. It's strange. I wasn't in control of myself. But I feel like losing control helped me to find myself. Or something. I think Dahl realized that. That's why he did what he did. Yeah, he did say I'm sorry, Ajna, for everything, but this is the only way, so... I'm guessing Dar actually sacrificed himself so he could possibly wait, like, snap her out of it. Dar. Of all people, I never thought he'd be the one to sacrifice himself. <sighs> now I have to live with what I've done. We all do. We're in this together. So Bay's really come around. I, rem I mean, I remember early on, I was pretty annoyed with him because he was just constantly hounding me about, oh, you're Kala, we gotta stop you. But now he's a pretty supportive companion. Thanks, Zebe. Is there any news about Kala? She is still alive, we know that much. And her power seems to be growing. Then we still have to defeat her. But first, I have to go fix everything I messed up. We have time. I can feel it. I am... a part of her after all. I knew it from the start. But will you help me? Of course. Absolutely! We're here for you! I don't know, this whole Kala thing seems pretty interesting. Yeah, Razmi's just kinda here along for the ride. Razmi! Fine, fine, I'll help. Jeez. You're a lot easier to talk to when you're asleep. Thanks, everyone. This time we'll really set things right. Hooray. Alright, so <laughs> what does my paltry squad look like now? Oh yeah, we keep all our optional characters. So it actually it actually isn't hurt too badly. Whoa, we are way stronger now though. Look at those health amounts. Yeah, I think after fiddling with Launchy as much as I did, I actually don't think that's the character for me, so... I'll either go back to Leilani... ...or possibly... ...someone else. Hmm. Let's see... You know what, let's put... ...her... ...in, and let's see, what was your stuff? Songs. Up, let's, uh, attack boost speed, up attack boost attack, down attack reduces damage taken. She can stack songs if she isn't interrupted. 
claim blocking pre uh, prevents interruption. Sends enemies into a dancing frenzy. Spend any to keep the party going by tapping attack along with her snaps. Yeah. I mean, she seems interesting, but I, actually, I don't actually know if that would work out. Hmm. Well, let's move Tungar back to his normal position, I guess. And we should pick somebody else to come in. I like Leilani, but I think I'm actually going to bring Zabay in instead. Uh, he just seems like a better fit. So let's take you out for now. And let's put Tungar back in his normal spot. And Zabay once again back in his normal spot. There we go. Got our little squad going. Anybody got a save point? Hmm, Oshwat's in shambles too. So this is what's left of Ashwat. Even with everything that's happened here, it's still good to be home. But how did we get back? Angwu brought us back with the Chakra Gate. That old woman is formidable. Oh, that's high praise from you, Zebe. I honor strength. Let it never be said otherwise. Well, now that we're here, I want to see who's still around and visit Dad. Alrighty. Let's see who else is around and visit Dad, but... Okay, here's the save point. Good, good. Alright, this episode's been going on for quite a while, and we've gotten quite a few rev uh, revelations. So, I think this is a good spot to go ahead and end off. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Oh.